Hello to everyone out in Maryland's beautiful 8th Congressional District. It's your Congressman Jamie Raskin coming at you for my favorite time of the week, Local Hero, where we get to celebrate the people that make our community thrive and that have helped our community survive the nightmare of COVID-19 and that are uh, making uh, us the greatest place to live in the whole world. And so I have a really special guest for you today, Dr. Darian Pollard, who's the president of Montgomery Community College. And unfortunately, she's the outgoing president. Uh, she has announced that after 10 years um, serving us in this capacity, she's on her way to Las Vegas, where she will be the president of Las Vegas Community College. But Darian has done such extraordinary things here. And um, I wanted to start by asking you, uh, I, I know that you come to us uh, from Chicago by way of California. Um, and when you came to be president of Montgomery College, you had not lived in Maryland before, you not lived in Montgomery County, but tell us what these 10 years have meant to you personally and what you think of this community that will always hold you close to our heart. Well, it's a community that I am profoundly grateful to have been a part of for over 10 years. I, I chose to be here. I brought my son and my wife, we lived here. And as I now transition to Henderson, uh, Nevada to lead Nevada State College, uh, there are some parts about this experience that I'm gonna keep with me. Uh, first of all, is that Montgomery County is a community that lives its values out loud. And that to me is something that speaks uh, profoundly, a community that believes deeply in inclusion and an intentionality about that, a community that lifts up education, a community that believes that no one deserves to be left behind. That's an ethos that is so uh, visceral in, in Montgomery County. And for me, it's something that I will take with me. And as I think about what we've tried to do at the college, at least uh, while I've been the leader there, really focused a lot on amplifying that message, uh, a to radical inclusion. Uh, this idea that access is, is something that we need everybody in our community to be a part of. And then this idea of really deepening partnerships, that's been profoundly important. Well, and you've brought that vision in a really powerful way to the MC campus. Um, tell us over the last decade, what are the changes that have occurred that you're proudest of? You know, I think for me, this idea that the college uh, turned up the volume as it related to our work in serving the needs of students who are DACA students, who are dreamers, who are undocumented. Uh, this idea that we talked about poverty, not from a deficit mentality, but poverty from the fact that this is America and we need to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Uh, the fact that we added to our programming in such a way to meet the current needs of the economy of Montgomery County and the state of Maryland. And then I think the other thing that really resonates for me is that we also took our opportunity to turn the college inside out. Instead of waiting for people to come to Montgomery College, we took the college into the communities that we may not have always traditionally served as well as we should have, and then we figured out how to do that better. So that has been I think a hallmark of the work that I've tried to advance at the college in the last 10 years. Oh, that's well, that's a remarkable thing. Um, and tell us um, about some of the struggles around COVID-19 and what we've come through over the last year. And uh, are there things that have strengthened us or are there things that have weakened us? And what, what do you see as the future post COVID? You know, one of the things I keep telling people is that COVID just laid bare a lot of the things that are already happening in this country, dare I say the globe, that we really weren't addressing significantly. Uh, the fact that at the same time we had uh, two pandemics we were grappling with, one around a pandemic of health and COVID-19, but also racial reckoning that was happening in this country at the same time. And the fact that COVID-19 only amplified what was happening in terms of racial a reconciliation needs to happen in this country, I think speaks significantly to that. So one of the things I think we also saw laid to bear as a result of COVID is basic needs and security. Uh, the fact that 43% oh, of Montgomery College students lost their job early on as a result of COVID. Another 35% described the fact that they had significantly lost hours at work. So when I tell people, you can't think about school if you're trying to figure out where you're gonna lay your head, what you're gonna put in your belly. Uh, Maslow's hierarchy is real. And yeah. for us, we saw that. Child care for your kids. Oh my gosh, you're thinking about that. Transportation and infrastructure become so important. So for us, the real cost of college, the total cost of college uh, became important. I'll also say what I think this lay bears, the, the, the relevancy and the potency of community colleges in the country. Uh, I believe the recovery 
of this country will come through institutions like community colleges and other boundary spanning higher ed organizations that are very deliberate and making sure that we talk about the fact that half of undergraduates in this country are not coming from a trust fund, half of them are not going to elite institutions. Most of them, as you described, are working parents. Most of them are first generation college students and they're going through America's community colleges. So we are essential uh, to what has to get done in this country to help us really recover after COVID. Yeah, well, you're you're headed out to Nevada State College. Am I getting yes, the name sir. right now? Nevada State <laughs> College, um, and we can understand why colleges all over the country would want you to come out and do for them what you've been able uh, to do for us. But uh, you will always uh, have a very special place in our community and in our hearts, Dr. Pollard. And I wonder if you have any parting thoughts or messages for. Uh, the students, the faculty, the staff, and the community, which really uh, counts on Montgomery College in so many ways. Well, thank you, Congressman Raskin, for that and, and, and inviting me to be here. Probably just a three-point message. One, to the faculty and staff of Montgomery College, it has been a profound honor to be associated with you, and I would challenge you to, to dare to lead. Uh, we do a lot of work talking about Brene Brown's work and this idea that the talent and the commitment of this college is extraordinary and our community needs us now more than ever. Uh, I would say to our students, uh, you are our best teachers. Uh, you all are challenging us and you're making us think deliberately about who's at the table, are their voices amplified, and more importantly, how do we as a college wise up and show up more deliberately to meet them? And to Montgomery County, uh, I am profoundly grateful that I got to live in a community. I got to be a part of it to hopefully to contribute to a community that is unabashed in its commitment to making sure that everyone gets better um, and everyone has the right to thrive. And it was an honor to be here. Uh, I carry a piece of uh, Montgomery County and Montgomery College in my DNA. I will never lose it. And I have a sneaking suspicion that you'll see me popping up from time to time because I will be staying uh, committed to this community. I love it tremendously. Oh, well, that's awesome. Well, that's very moving to hear you say it. I hope I somehow get a chance to give you a uh, physical hug before it's all over. I received uh, that. I received that. So. But I'm giving you, until then, a virtual hug, a metaphysical hug, and I think I speak on behalf of all of my constituents in not just Montgomery, but Frederick, Carroll County, everybody in Maryland. Uh, uh, we so appreciate you and we treasure your hard work and uh, we wish you Godspeed in all your efforts. Thank you so much. Same to you and yours.